Hey there, Scorpio. This is Ange with Feisty Butterfly Tarot, and today I am doing a love reading, and we are going to take a look at what's going on for you for the month of September. Okay. You and them in the past. You had a seven of swords. Ugh. Somebody was swiping something from you and you felt like you needed to protect things. Somebody somebody kind of ripped you off. That's not so hot. Them, King of Pentacles. In the past, they're doing well. They're established. They have money and establishment. Could be that this person is an older person, but this is in their past. Currently, you're feeling very independent and well-established on your own, which is excellent. This one's wanting teamwork and creativity. That's excellent. Ooh. Right now, you're wanting the that perfect even partnership. Well, no damn wonder. And they're wanting expansion. They're wanting growth as well. They've got creative energy and skill set to create. They have people supporting them. That's great. Two of Pentacles. Three of pe or two of Pentacles, death, and then the High Priestess. So, compatibility, there's a juggling that has to be done. And evening out. Um, things in the earthly realm are going to be shifting for both of you, it looks like. Death, something has to come to an end. Could be interference from this one. And then you have the high priestess, your intuition. There's things that are unknown, that are hidden, that are mysterious, and you're not sure what those are. So let's look at this and clarify for a minute. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Ooh, Eight of Cups. Also, somebody has to do intuition and work. Let's see what else is going on. And three of Swords. Doesn't necessarily mean there's actually a betrayal, but something has been heartbreak. And there will be a leaving. Do what you gotta do, Scorpio. I don't know what to tell you or them on this. It seems like the possible outcome could be heartache, but growth. So make of it what you will. Sun, moon, and rising. We are going to do another up one for whichever one you take that to be. So we're going to do another quick peek and check things out with the other deck. All right. Let's shuffle these up. So this is the Dark Mansion deck. Previously was the Arcanum. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you want to take it in that order, that was Sun, this is Moon. Next one will be Rising. Whatever. Take it how you want to take it. Okay, this is you, this is them. You know how the game is played. Ooh, that seven of swords coming up again, nine swords, ooh. Okay, happy family situation in the past. The world, they had completed something in the past. Here you are, you're doing some soul searching within and looking for light and wisdom and have had some time where you've been in solitude for a while. And what you want is to be able to sparkle and shine and you know, really show off what you can. It's be allowed to just shine, you know, and they have got the sun right now. Like everything is going good for them. Happiest card in the deck. Things are going to grow and the star. There is hope for them as well. Then all of a sudden for the compatibility, you have the seven of swords. So something's going on. Something sneaky is going on somewhere. And then you have anxiety for advisability. And then you have confusion. Let's clear up some of this. Do a shuffle. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So maybe there's been a betrayal on their side. And you're feeling pretty smug and good about things, but they're feeling like um, they, they might need to take something. There, there's the sneaky thief. Something's been stolen. All right, let's see what else is going on. The tower, and then the benefactor and the giver, the generosity. <sighs> I 
Okay, this person I feel is reckless. I feel like there has been a betrayal. Maybe they were the betrayer or just got betrayed and don't know how to play the love game very well. They're willing to give. They have money, but it seems like they can't understand the, the cups part of the equation. Things come up good for them, but they aren't quite sure what to do. And they can be a little bit reckless. So that's, that's your caution. So either you've had to protect or they've had to protect something. Something's been taken. You're feeling pretty smug and good right now. But then this tower moment, everything that you thought would be crumbles. You have anxiety. And then there's this two of wands where you're trying to figure out what's the next step. Where do you balance? You've got confusion here. Let's take one more. Is this like a go ahead with it anyway, even though it's challenging or not? No, don't go with this. So sun, moon, rising, moon, no, don't go with it. Not your time, Scorpio. Not your time. All right. Now we're going to do the combo for the rising. We'll shuffle these three times, shuffle the other three times, and lay them both out. Make sure they get at least a good shuffle going on. Okay, so when I'm combining them for Sun, Moon, Rising, I guess this would be Rising. Then shuffle these three times as well. see. Okay, ready to go. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. Ooh. Man! <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. <sighs> In the past, you've dealt with the King of Wands, somebody fiery, somebody perhaps a little narcissistic, sometimes they are, somebody that likes admiration and you, it's left you unhappy. The devil energy is right there now. There's still some toxic residue. You haven't figured out what you need to do. There's competition and competitive energy. There's battles that are play battles or maybe still going on. This person's interfering. Um, here you have the Ace of Coins, a good monetary offering, a good tangible time and resources offering. The Nine of Wands, they're standing their ground, they're holding firm, but you've had quite a bit of fiery energy. I don't know if you want to deal with this. Then you have the Ten of Wands. This person feels like they're burdened. This connection, when it comes together, might not be so easy. Then you have the Tower and the Lovers at the same time. So it could be, it could be you choose to go for it anyway, commit to something, you're very compatible and it blows shit up. But the result isn't necessarily so bad. Like you have the Queen of Cups coming out of this, which is a more loving energy, more emotionally reflect on things and understand things better energy. And clarity. On this side, there's clarity. So this is compatibility, this is advisability, and this is outcome. You're left a little colder and wiser, more strategic, more objective. And you still have a good offering as far as the Page of Pentacles. This is a young and new thing. This could be very interesting. So... If we cross this here, and we cross this here, what are we looking at? This one, Sun, Moon, Rising, whichever, if this is the rising, then yeah, this, this combo of this particular circumstance, go for this. Even though it looks a little scary. It looks scary and hairy at the beginning, but better on the outset. So things are going to transition. You're going to be more able to commit and leave things behind, and they're going to have their whole world blown up just a bit. But they're going to be coming out of it more clear. I'd go for this one. Not sure exactly if uh, that's how you might feel, but hey, I'd go for it. All right, take care, Scorpio.